Hey everyone, so these are the two best budget Android tablets I believe you can buy uh, with your money here. Uh, so on the left here is the 2020, or it's from 2020, the Samsung Tab A7, which is 10.4 inches, uh, just all around a very nice, actually pretty good looking budget tablet. And then on the right here is the 2021 Amazon Fire HD 10. Uh, this is the non plus version, uh, which again, I think is actually a pretty nice looking tablet, especially considering the price. Uh, and it is 10.1 inches. Uh, so to cut to the chase here, the thing I would say is if you're comparing these two, the A7 is the all around winner. I'm basically any aspect here, uh, but it, besides from price, uh, this retails for about $230 ish dollars in the US. Uh, but you can get them on sale for around $200 or even less. Uh, whereas the HD 10 here retails for $150. Uh, and you can actually get it for, I think I've even seen these down to $100. Bucks. Uh, especially over time, they'll really start going down on their prices. Uh, but overall, though, the A7 is going to be the winner, again, except for on how much it costs. Uh, both of these actually have 3 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, both of them have 32 gigabytes of storage, but they can be expanded with a micro SD card slot. Uh, both of them do still have uh, microphone jacks, uh, unlike a lot of other tablets. Uh, you know, this is super, super thin, but yeah, it still has one on the bottom here. Um, but yeah, so a little bit of a comparison here. So again, pricing in the US, 150 around 230 so first take a very quick look here at the A7. Uh, again, this is 10.4 inches. Turn off that screen before I hit some. Uh, so you said you have a, the microphone jack here, or excuse me, the headphone jack. Uh, you have two speakers on the bottom as well as two speakers on the top there. Uh, USB type C, then then a microphone. That time I actually do mean, mean microphone. Uh, another microphone there. You have your volume rocker, your power button. Again, there are your other two speakers. And then you have your micro SD card slot there. And then you do get your camera there. And then you guys can see how thin this is. Nice and thin. And then we'll turn the screen back on. And you see there are some bezels, but they're not big. I would not call these big bezels at all. And we'll take a very quick look here at the 2021 HD10. Uh, oh, and then you also get the camera on the side here, just like on the HD10 here, which is really cool, instead of being up top. Uh, so, we're gonna bomb here, there is nothing. Then you have, this is a lot easier to get to. You get the micro SD card slot here. Uh, that one you have to have the little pin thing and push in there. Uh, on top here you have the focus in a bit better. Uh, we have your volume rocker. We have our power button, mics, USB Type C as well. It does not want to. Sorry, it does not want to uh, focus in there. Then you have your headphone jack there. The top we actually have two speakers. Sorry, they're somewhat hard to see with my lighting, but you have a speaker here and a speaker here. Again, there's nothing there. And then you do have the camera there and also the smile from Amazon. Uh, then again, it is not thick by any means, but it is a little bit thicker. As you can see there, than the, H, uh, the A7. And then these bezels are definitely on the bigger side as well. Uh, again, I wouldn't really call them big. Maybe for 2021 standards, they're big. Um, but I don't, I think the newer iPad, new iPad actually has bigger bezels. Uh, real fast, if you really want to spend over $300, I might spend $330. Uh, the iPad is definitely better than either of these two tablets. Um, but it is also literally over double the price of this one and over $100 more than what this one is or $100 more. Uh, but that is going to be your best budget. If you want to call that a budget tablet, um, as far as power goes. Uh, but that's just a quick side mo note. We're talking about Androids here. Uh, so you can get 
in the Google Play Store, you see right here on the Amazon Fire tablet, but you do have to download it off of the internet. If you don't know how to do so, just Google it or check out my YouTube channel here. I have multiple videos on how to do so. Uh, and, and this, for the 2021 version, it might take you two or three tries. I think it took me two tries to get it to actually work. Uh, the older Amazon's uh, older fires, it did it just worked right away. Uh, but you can get on here where, of course, being Samsung, you get that with it. I uh, don't have to download it off the internet. This it does come with the Amazon App Store, which is not good. It really is not a very good app store. Uh, and then two, you do get a lot of bloatware. I will actually ran both these devices. Um, but you get more in here. And you can see all these Google things. A lot of this stuff can be delayed on the A7. Anything that is Amazon specific, including now IMDB for whatever reason. Uh, so anything that's grayed out here, you cannot delete. And it is a lot of stuff. I mean, it's a lot of stuff I really do not care about. Um, whatsoever, but it cannot be deleted. Uh, but again, on here you can delete a lot of the stuff. Uh, let's talk about the screens for a bit. I think both of these are very nice screens, but I do think the A7 is better. It is, for one, it is a little bit bigger. Again, you get a little bit smaller bezels. Uh, again, this is 10.4 compared to 10.1. Uh, they're both full, full HD though. And this is, I would say, a definite improvement over the 2019 version, which was the last generation of the Amazon. Uh, but this is still a little bit better, uh, side by side at least. Don't have a side by side, I don't think you're going to notice much of a difference. Um, but side by side, the A7 is going to be a bit nicer. Uh, talking about speakers here, the A7 is definitely better. You have quad speakers, they just they get loud, they sound pretty dang good. Uh, this doesn't sound bad, it's better than the iPads. Um, you do get the dual, dual speakers on the top, one on either side. Uh, it sounds pretty good, but this is definitely going to be better. Let's talk a little bit about gaming here. Again, the A7 is going to be better. Um, show that off real fast here on Roblox. So we'll go into Roblox and both of these. I, I think a lot of kids will be interested in both these tablets. Uh, so again, they're not that expensive, you know, both decent, both decent budget tablets here. So I think a lot of kids will be interested in playing games on this if you do get your kid one of these. I uh, see loading in here. It is on the same profile, but you can see the A7 is a lot faster than what this was at loading. Uh, if you guys want to see a full-blown gaming on both of these, you guys can check out my channel. I believe it's on this channel. It might be on my gaming channel. Um, but the A7 is definitely better. Uh, so both of these will run 99% of Roblox games just fine. The issue is, the only issue I have ever come across on either device, well, and it's more with the Ace, with the uh, HD10 here, is if you try to do Roblox High, it's the only, only game on Roblox I've had issues with. This will literally kick me out of it every time it reloads Roblox. It kicks you out. Uh, this has, it doesn't play the best, but it is definitely playable on here. Even on lowest graphics, the Amazon cannot do Roblox high. Uh, this can do it. Even on automatic graphics, I believe it's... Again, you probably want to put in low graphics for that game. Um, but with that said though, 99% of games will work on both devices, on Roblox. Uh, even in automatic graphics, just that one game, that one game which a lot of people love on Roblox, this, every time I've tried it, it kicks me out. It just, I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't know why it is. It's just a processor cannot handle it, but that is what it is. Uh, but everything else works fantastic. Uh, every game that I've tried will work on automatic graphics on the A7. Uh, some games you have to put into the lowest graphics on the Amazon. But with that said, any other game I've thrown at this, it can do fine. Again, it will be in lower graphics. Uh, so I've been doing a bunch of Pokemon Unite, and actually I kind of like this tablet for that because of the size. Uh, again, A7 would be just as good. And actually, in Pokemon Unite, both of these do it in the same graphic settings, and neither of them lag. Uh, both of them are fantastic for that. Uh, let me see other games I've done on here. You guys want to see more gaming stuff, you can check out my gaming channel. Uh, I do a lot of gaming, especially on the A7 here. Uh, but for gaming, though, the A7 is going to be better overall. Uh, just like on basically everything.
that you can do on it. Uh, let's go into a quick, we're going to the internet. I'm going to use Google Chrome on the A7. Again, that's what it comes with. Uh, this comes with Silk. I've tried Chrome on here. I think Silk is actually faster. Only issue with Silk is that when you do a search from the top here, it'll actually bring you to Bing. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Bing unless I'm trying to look up uh, like images for stuff, for videos or whatever. Um, this is definitely, uh, yeah, I mean, Bing is, uh, people don't like Bing. <laughs> but it's on here, it goes right to Google. Or whatever you want it to do. Uh, we'll just go into, let's just go to Pokemon.com though. Uh, very nice thing is, hopefully you guys can see this very well on here. So you do Pokemon, and you also hit the .com here. Uh, nicest features I really like about the the Samsung tablets is these arrows right here. Let you go back and forth on your search. So you don't have to poke at where you're trying to hit. Uh, you can just use this and it goes like arrow keys on a keyboard. It is super awesome. And you can see too, it, it has the .com. This does not have the .com. Uh, just kidding, it's right there. Uh, it's not when you're on Google itself. See, they are both pretty quick. Actually, they're both really fast for how expensive or inexpensive these tablets are. Uh, of course, you can go to the desktop website. Of course, Pokemon does not seem to be a very hard website to load. Uh, we'll get to where Best Buy is that is a apparently a pretty hard website for tablets to load. Uh, now, I have been on both these tablets. The history was not clear on either of these tablets. Um, so I have been to both of these websites in the past without clearing out my history here. But you can see the A7 is going to load in a little bit faster. Uh, it just has a little bit of a better processor. Um, but both of these are more than fine for normal internet browsing. Uh, so the takeaway points here is that the A7 is definitely a better tablet, but it also costs about 80, 80 US dollars more than what the Amazon here cost, or even $100 more if they both go on sale. Uh, and of course, again, the A7 is going to be better overall. But with that said, both these tablets are fantastic for budget tablets for normal use. Uh, once you're not, as long as you don't care about going high end gaming or something like maxed out graphics, uh, so of course, then you'll have to spend quite a bit more money. Uh, then I actually, I'd look at even the iPad, the base model iPad, or if you want to stick with Android, you'll have to look at uh, like the S7 or SM Plus from Samsung. Uh, so can def those can definitely do high-end gaming and max graphics with no issues. Uh, or you'd need some crazy processing power, uh, like, like you'd actually need like a computer or something, but you want it on a tablet. Of course, these are not going to do it. These are budget tablets. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are both fantastic, though, for what they are. They are both decently cheap. I would say I'd give either of these to a kid. They can do Roblox. They can do games. Uh, they can do pretty much whatever they want. They can do internet searching really no issues basic tablet needs these are both very very good again a7 wins on every aspect besides at least to me besides from cost uh, you guys let me know what you think i do have better comparisons and reviews on my channel for each of these uh, special comparisons so if you want to check those out uh, that'd be awesome uh, and also i also have gaming videos on both of these either on this channel or my gaming channel. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Again, my, if I had around $200 to spend, I would get the A7. Um, otherwise, if you were going to go with this one, if you want to spend $180, you can get the Plus, uh, which will give you one more gigabyte of RAM, and it's a little bit better. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you all next time. I appreciate you. Goodbye.